We certainly need to protect our endpoints. Any company does. Uh, it's got to be one of the first things, first and foremost, in a CISO's mind is protecting that endpoint. Um, 70 to 85 percent of hacks and intrusion into an infrastructure will often come through that space. Beyond that, though, there's other ways to get in. What if you have an IoT infrastructure that you don't even know about? My name is Mike Ehlers. I am the Chief Information Security Officer, the CISO at Clarent. Clarent is a leader in the payments processing space, currently doing 20 to $30 million in payments and settlements every evening. And throughout the day, we also offer a gateway in which we can give do payments processing for merchants end to end. There's a number of things in the market that worry me. Obviously, as a in a payments processing space, you're worried about things such as fraud. We obviously have to take risk into consideration. It's, it's always top of mind. We have to make sure we're protecting the key pieces of our infrastructure. And that's one of the reasons why Armis was uh, an important space for us. And we wanted to certainly get into, understand our vulnerabilities. And we, under, we want to be able to have that visibility into our infrastructure. Asset inventory is critical for any security footprint. If you do not understand what is on your network, if you don't understand what is in your infrastructure, how would you even begin to secure those devices? How do you do patch management to something you don't even know you have? It's not just necessarily going to find your workstations, your laptops, your servers, your network devices that you know about. It's going to find those things you're not aware of, such as IoT devices you didn't even know were in the building. As a CISO, I've got to be, I have to understand where all my risks are coming from. One of the things that I was looking for in a tool is that could give me risk scoring. And, and there's many different facets that I can get out of Armis. It's going to help me on my understand my attack surface. It's going to help me understand the risk at the endpoint. And it's also going to give risk scoring from the unmanaged, the IoT perspective. And that's another great piece that Armis brings to the table. One of the other advantages of Armis is I do not have to have an agent sitting out on a server, on any network devices, on my laptops. We already have enough of that in our security space. Armis brings that to the, space, to the table. I do not need to put an agent out anywhere. It goes out and grabs the information that I need from my infrastructure and my corporate space without having to put agents on any devices. One of the other advantages I find with Armis is its ability to integrate uh, with other tool sets, whether it's a seam-like tool and various leaders in that market space. Why do you choose a product, whether it's cost, feature richness, things like that? Um, I found all the things to add up um, from to Armis. You know, again, they have a good cost point. I got the feature richness that I'm looking for. I always want to, uh, out of a tool, get as much as I can versus having to buy 10 tools to do 10 things. If I can buy one tool that can do five different things, I would love to go down that path. Go down that path. Um, I love the risk scoring capabilities and the visual effects that I can get out of Armis. That was that was key, uh, one of the key decision points, and also being able to. Um, get visibility into the vulnerabilities within my infrastructure. I love the asset management piece that also comes with Armis, a key item. And then I also have uh, the ability to do IoT vulnerability. 